Greetings, greetings. Yes, that's right. This is the master teacher, the quantum shifter, the shape shifter, the code breaker. That's right, sitting in the captain's seat for the one, the apostle, the prophet, the cosmic commander. Oh, yeah, yeah, but he's in the house. That's right, he's in the house. Listen, sounds on sound. I know you're hearing just a little bit. He's warming up. That's right, on the bongos and the congas. Listen, getting ready to make it do what it do. We want to welcome you once again, once again, to another truth session. Oh, where well, your thoughts really matter. Yeah, you better ask somebody. They really count. Been talking about some powerful, powerful, powerful things. Listen, the one has been laying it down. I mean, been laying it down, laying it up, laying around, laying it all around the side of us. Oh, it's been powerful. And I'm telling you, if you've been dialing into the information and rehearsing and rehearsing it, building the right platform, I guarantee you, you've been blessed. Oh, not only that, you've been healed. You've been made whole because that's what he does. Listen, at his best, he's a healer. Oh, you better ask somebody. I know that's right. Major healing and brought major healing to me. Those in our company, major healing. Those who have come and gone, those who built a symbiotic relationship with the one. Guess what? They've come in and got healed. Went on about their merry way. That's that was a purpose for that particular time is to come in, build the right relationship, to lay go it. That's right. To build such a foundation that cannot be shaken. Maybe this wasn't their ultimate stop. But he legoed and layered and built such a foundation for them. Listen, they couldn't help but be healed. Why? That's who he is. That's what he does. That's right. Brings peace to you, to love on you. I'm saying it for a reason. Because listen, all that he have talked about it, and that he ministered and delivered unto you, what did it do? Bring healing. Made you whole. Brought some freedom to you. Oh, you better ask somebody. Listen, you you already know I'm already fired up. I've already gone. It doesn't take much for me. Listen, I'm going to zero to 90. That's right. I'm going to be speeding from zero to 90 in a matter of seconds. It's already on like a young telephone, as the one always says. We want to welcome you, man, and, and let you know that we appreciate you. We love you. We don't take your time for granted. Not lightly at all. We understand this is... A very important day. That's right. It's your Saturday where you tend to get lots of things done. Meet with family. Didn't have that opportunity all week, but you use this opportunity. Hello, somebody. To meet with family members and get some personal things done for yourself and your family. So we appreciate you. We appreciate your truth in this session. Hello. Thank you right now as the Prince of Peace and say, listen, it'll make you free. This Lego word will make you free. And that's right, we want to formally, formally greet you. Salam alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. You know, tap a bar, got it. Amani kaka, amani dada. Hola. Bonjour. Yes, Kanishiwa. That's right, you've been hit by, you've been struck by none other than the master teacher. Uh huh. The quantum shift and the shape shift and the cold breaker, baby. We welcome you to another episode, as I say, of the truth session. Yeah, I want you to sit back, relax, participate, because that's what you're going to have to do today. You're going to have to participate mentally, emotionally, educational wise. Come on, somebody. Oh, uh, come on. Listen, we're getting this party jump started. That's right. We are going to jump start your cognition one more time. Yes, yeah, so that we can make you free. Yeah, but even as the one that shared with us, ultimately it's up to you. Yeah, we can jump start your cognition, your ability to think, the engine of your mind. But ultimately it's up to you. Yeah, to receive the truth, to ascertain the information, to obtain it and to retain it. This is a truth session. Listen, as I go ahead and prepare my platforms here, my electronic devices. Listen, we want to all already say that's right. Thank you, Prince of Peace, for your donation. 
Thank you, Monique, for your donation. Yes. We want to give a quick shout out to Dr. Clea. That's right. For her recent book that she put out, man, listen, you might want to tap into that and reach out. McLean Severance, that's right. Our other buddy in the house, that's right. Listen, they've got some powerful, powerful books out. Listen, place that information on the timeline so that others will know how to reach you, how to purchase your, your books that you just put out. Man, I'm telling you, it's going down up in here. It may seem like that there's just a few people who are paying attention. Listen, I've already had people to contact me and say, listen, I've been watching. There are times that I wasn't able to go right in and come right into the truth session, but guess what? I was still watching. And that's what happens. We've got thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people, that's right, who have tapped in and watching. Oh, but what we're going to do? That's right. We're going to set this frequency so, man, we can get this party started. Hello, somebody. Give me a quick second here, and I'm going to go ahead and get myself set up as we go right into it. Come on, family. I know you feel that. Come on. Yes. Come on. Come on. Just breathe. Just breathe. Tap in, tap in. Yes. Yeah, there it is. Come on. success. Come on. Come on. Feel that sound bowl. Come on. Feel it. Oh yeah, 
come on, come on, yes. I know you're tapping into that energy. Come on, that energy that's powerful, yes. That cannot be created nor destroyed, it's always there. Oh, we just get you to tap into it. Come on, breathe it in. There's going to be such an energy release that's going to cause you to tap into the information that's going to automatically sink. That's right, sink inside of your hemispheres. As we hear me sink, yes, come on, come on, tap into it. That's what you're here for to tap into that energy. Oh, that's going to cause you to set a foundation in your mind that we can build on today because we're going to do some building. That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you for your breath of life. Thank you for your energy today. Come on, let's say as they tantalize your hearts, tantalize your minds. Listen, we want you to be prepared for this word because we're going to build in Lego what the one, the apostles, the prophet, the cosmic commander has already laid down. Such a powerful foundation. Yeah. I, I think that about did it. Listen, I know I know you feel that energy up in this place. And let me go ahead and hit this timeline as we prepare to get started. Thank you once again. Our very own Rosalind Severance McLean is in the house. Listen, got our information out there. Ocean of thought, oceans of thoughts. Listen, you need to purchase that powerful, powerful book. It's out there in the timeline to show you how to reach out to her to to get that information from her. Also, that's right, it's on Amazon, Oceans of Thoughts. We see our very own Larry Wright in the house. Greetings, my brother, greetings. Our very own Monique Bannister in the house today. She said, music team, bring it. It's going to be in and out, in and out with us today. Got a couple of events that she's doing. So she let me know that she would be in and out, but she's already here. Gratitude. Our very own head of the mod squad, Queen Stephanie in the house. Hello back unto you up in here. Yes, indeed. Appreciate what you're doing. That's right here for the truth session for the one. We want to send a shout out to our mod squad. Listen, TSF family, thank you for all you do. Thank you for all you do. That's right for your committal, your faithfulness, your walk through this journey that we're on as we advance and pass on to many appointed occasions to develop the truth session, to get this information out to many people. Listen, they may not ever say it, but they need this information. That's right. The one like me, man, listen, we are followed. Oh my goodness. Reaching millions of people. Reaching millions of people. People need this truth session information. If you don't know that by now, you better learn it today. Oh, you better ask somebody. Listen, vital stuff, vital stuff. And again, we don't take you for granted nor lightly. With painstaking effort, research for data and the like. That's right. KD the songbird. Preparing a feast for you. That's right, the Prince of Peace. Preparing the feast for us. 
Oh, let's listen to him real quickly before we get started. That's right, the song Bird KD. Come on. Prince of Peace. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got the one. That's right. On the percussion. The apostle, the prophet, the cosmic commander. He's on the symbols, on the bundles, on the congas. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Yeah, tap into that music. Woo! Oh, we're all ready there. Come on. Come on. Yes. We're here to guide you, to turn you, to twist you, to put you in a perfect place on this truth session journey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. As we talk about Lego stages of development. Oh. That's right, we're going to be dealing with Lego stages of development. That's right. Lego stages of development. Just a spin off of what the apostle, the prophet, the cosmic commander has been talking about. And I'm not going to rehash on what the one has laid down because he did just that. Laid it down. So what you need to do is go back and listen to part one and part two to be brought up to speed, up to speed, spudazzo in the Greek, to be brought up to speed. That's right. So we need to be brought up to speed. So go back and listen to those broadcasts, man, so that you can be enlightened. So we're going to be dealing with... Lego stages of development. And now, if you listen to that phrase, that title, you know it's a setup to be wet up. Because Lego is a stage of development. That's right. So we're going to be dealing with stages of development and how we're going to connect them. But in order to connect the dots, listen, you've got to go back to the etymology of how this thing began so that you can understand developmental aspects of educational learning and and also mental development, social and emotional development, that's right, cognitive development. So we understand that, man, throughout the language that there are, there are always developmental strategies and play on words. Those things that may seem coincidental, I think not. They're here to develop you because that's how they're constructed, they're built, they're focused, they're concentrated, they're scaffolded. As the one says, very so eloquently stated, letters, letters construct words. Words construct sentences. Sentences construct paragraphs. Paragraphs will construct a body of work. Man, that's straight up Lego. That's right. We learned that from him so long ago, how he eloquently, fitly framed that together. See, you might have known about letters. You might have known about words, paragraphs sentences and all that good stuff but the way he legoed it oh my goodness was developmental itself how he laid it letters now if you think about how these 26 letters of the alphabet can build thousands of words because mathematically there's something called factorial. Factorial and combinations. Permutations. The way words and letters are arranged to construct certain things. So everything is built by permutations, combinations. That's right, factorial, probabilities. They're all fitly framed and joined together. So we're gonna deal with those stages, man. Listen, as they continue, man, you see how this is fitly framed together? They're just flowing with me, that's all, just the flow. It's just the flow. 
it's just a Lego flow. Now what you have to understand that the word Lego in its original context was an adjective. So that it wasn't originally used as a noun or as a verb. That's right, Lego is an adjective as in Lego group, Lego building blocks. It's an adjective. So what is it doing? It's describing something. It's modifying a noun. It's modifying an adjective. So an adjective can modify itself. So now we're, we're talking about a description. It may be building something, but it's also describing it as we're building it. That's right. Now, over time, we start referring to them as Legos. And now, and then we also begin to talk about them as a verb, to Lego something. So over time, it just got accepted as a noun and as a verb. But it was originally a descriptive word. That's right, an adjective to modify those different parts of speech. So now let's utilize all three aspects of gram grammatical context. So to fully understand how to Lego it, you got to understand the etymology of the word. Came from a Danish author or Danish builder, Ole Gottfried Kirk Christensen, very powerful. And so now you have to see how this develops to the next phase and next part of building those building blocks, building those words, building those phrases, building those letters. Ole, O-L-E, Gottfried, Christensen, invented back in 1932, watch this, started the Lego group from Denmark. And the word Ole, his name Ole, he actually used the letters L-E rather than O-L-E. He utilized L-E in Ole, which translated to the word leg. Wow. Gottfried, he used the first part of it. G-O-D-T, wait a minute. You have to see this, Ole Godfrey. Shorten it from his name and use Lay and Godfrey or God, G-O-D-T. I think somebody know where I'm going with this. So it went from lay to leg. In other words, lay God means leg God. What the one has been doing is giving you a leg to stand on God, goddess. So the word Lego relates to you standing on your own two feet. Because you are God. Because you are goddess. Giving you the ability to stand on your own two feet. Wow. We're talking about stages of development. And what you should know by now is that's exactly what I'm doing, taking you through stages of development. But watch this. He took the word from lay and got and decide to shorten it again and use L-E-G-O. I, I, I want to show you this in your eye gates. I know you're hearing me, but seeing is believing.
I, I just want to show you this, and, I, and I'm going to enlarge it. Using the blue mark here because I got on blue today. Watch this. Ole. Ole. Wow. So we take this. Let me remove the eye. So Ole Godfrey, he took first part and decided to use this. Which e eventually or God. So you see the development of the letters and of the words. So this is leg God. Or, and that's what he took from his name and it became leg God or leg and God. In other words, giving you the ability to stand on your own two feet, God. But watch this. It went from leg God because he wanted to shorten it And it became Lego. It became Lego. Watch this. It's a Danish word that means play well. It also means to play well together. What do we do with building blocks? play well with them play together but also I'm going to show you how things just fitly frame together let God or Lego as it meant play or play well or play well together guess what it's an actual Latin word which means to put together so now not only you are you building, you're playing well together. You're putting things together. The one has been putting things together. Watch this, bringing back your playfulness. Because when you begin to learn different concepts, there's a measure of fun and, and playfulness enters in, you begin to smile. You figure things out. You visually understand them. Yeah, I'm going somewhere with that as well. You begin to visually pick up those concepts. You begin a Lego. But watch this. We commonly use the word Lego as a verb. As we say, man, let me Lego these things together. Let me Lego this. What, is, what does it mean to Lego something? To Lego something means to build a foundation and to stack it. Let me stack this together. Or let me put this together. Let me frame this. Let me Lego my thoughts. Or let me set some order. Let me arrange this in order so that I can continue to simultaneously and strategically build. So now I am, oh, I'm building concept upon concept. Line upon line, line upon line, precept upon precept, precept upon precept. Here a little, there a little. Right in our sacred text, which only means to Lego. That's what we're doing. We're Legoing your thoughts right now. Whether you understand what's happening right now, it's Legoing your thoughts. It's causing you to shift some things around and to build and to see the etymology of it and the importance of it so that you can rearrange some things in your life, some things in your environment that may be out of order. You'll understand how to make the shift, make the adjustment, make the quantum leap as the Prince of Peace just said. That's right. You'll understand though the, uh, the, the orderly arrangements to systematically set things in order. Now watch how powerful this is. You remember the breakfast food Lego? Uh-huh. Yeah. Lego my ego. 
What is that? Food for thought. It's the waffles. Ego, right? Or ego. Food for thought. What, what does food do for your body? Builds it. It builds it. What happens when you receive nourishment? Helps your brain. Food for thought. So these concepts, I'm telling you, they build upon one another. So it's be, it behooves you to recognize it. Now, I'm going to show you how powerful, how we used to say it in the hood. That's right. In our inner city. Listen, when someone might have stolen something or taken some money that they didn't have any business taking, guess what we used to say? Oh, man, he made off with my money, man. Man, he made off with my goods. To make off with him, when you made off with something, what does it mean? You, you got that five finger discount. That's right, you stole it. Watch how this bills. <laughs> That's right, free 99, you got it for free. That five finger discount. You made off with my money or you made off with my goods. Watch this. How many of you remember Bernie Madoff? The American financier, that's right. Who got in trouble for improperly handling funds. Yeah, we might as well say it. That's right. Improper investments, stealing money. Last name Madoff, what did he do? He made off with their money, didn't he? We would say, before he became popular, guess what we, we used to say that in the inner city. Oh man, he made off. We didn't even know Bernie and Madoff. We were too young to know Bernie and Madoff. Bernie and Madoff wasn't on the scene. But guess what? In our neighborhood, in our community, that was one of our slang terms, man. He made off with my money. Wow. Guess what it did? It manifested. The power of words. Yeah, he manifested. Years later. See, I was a shorty then. This was in the recent years. When Bernie Madoff got in trouble, what did he do? He made off with their money. <laughs> yeah, powerful, powerful. Yeah, it's the, come on, Prince of Peace, that's right. It's the hour of the strong man. That's right, that's something. The one, years ago, conference hour of the strong man. I'm telling you, everything is building upon itself. We don't even have to work hard at it. It's going to Lego. It's going to stack itself. It's going to arrange itself. It's going to build your house. Now watch this. They didn't even know I was going to talk about architecture. It's about building your house. Guess what? That's one of the concepts of Lego therapy. Having the ability to build. So <laughs> you're building a house. So those Lego structures are good for architects. Listen, I'm gonna go ahead and get ahead of myself because they're already singing about it. They already tapped into it. There is something called Lego therapy. Wow, you talking about colorful building blocks? Yeah, there's something called Lego therapy. I'm gonna go back to the beginning, but I'm gonna insert myself right in the middle. We're talking about visually Con conceiving some things. The one talked about that, the concept. That's right, a concept, an idea giving birth in your mind. Watch this. In Lego therapy, there are 10 concepts that you're gonna gather in from this therapy. The third one, I'm jumping to the third one. Perfected ram of the spirit, watch this. Problem solving, mathematics and spatial awareness. See, they talked about building your house. This, is, this was perfect for me to slide right in, to dress and transition right into this. Yeah. Watch this. Problem solving, mathematics and spatial awareness. According to verywellfamily.com, watch this. The following of instructions, deciphering order, understanding quantity, symmetry, patterns, location of bricks, helps children to develop on their mathematical skills and spatial awareness. 
uh, and encourages them in developing how to problem solve and come up with new ideas. Watch this. Oh my goodness. Man, good to my soul. So there's something called visual spatial. What is visual spatial? One of Howard Garner's ideas on multiple intelligence. Yeah, multiple intelligence in education. Watch this. Visual spatial learners is one of the nine styles of learning styles defined in Howard Garner's theory of multiple intelligence. Visual spatial learning style or visual spatial intelligence refers to a person's ability to perceive, analyze, and to understand information or visual information in the world around us. Essentially, they can picture concepts in their mind's eye. How long have the one been talking about the mind's eye, the ability to see? Before you even see with this duality, but with your pineal gland. So people who have downloaded this concept of Lego building, Lego therapy as we're going through right now, you have what's called visual spatial intelligence, the ability to see. That's what the Almighty ones told most, uh, not Moshe, but Shalom. See that thou build the tabernacle after the pattern that I showed you in the mouth. Look at this. Look at these intelligence. Excuse me, Moshe, Moshe. Thank you, the one. Said that to Moshe. Watch this. Logical mathematical intelligence. Linguistic intelligence. Interpersonal intelligence. Intrapersonal. So in other words, you can have the intelligence to deal with people, but also intrapersonal dealing with yourself. Musical intelligence. Don't you hear that in this room? Knowing how to flow. That's a part of Lego building. That's a part of multiple intelligence. I said visual, spatial, bodily kinesthetics, the ability to move and learn at the same time. I build a carousel. I can put information all over the room and cause students to move all over the place and pick up information. That's called bodily kinesthetics. Another one is a naturalist in intelligence, dealing with having the ability to understand nature, understand the intelligence of nature, natural intelligence. I'm talking about all of this is being built as you begin to Lego information. Not only that, existential intelligence. In other words, having the curiosity, the creativity to understand human existence. So we have multiple intelligence operating when you understand the Lego of words, Lego of letters, Lego of sentences, the Lego of paragraphs. I'm telling you, the one was building those nine multiple intelligence put forth by Howard Garner. <laughs> wow. Let me check this timeline. Let me take a station identification break. I know you're up in here as the one, the apostle, the prophet, the cosmic commander on the percussions, on the chimes, on the cymbals. That's right. Prince of Peace on the keyboard. You hear him. You hear him. I know you do. I know you feel him. And our very own Songbird KD. That's right. Oh, let me check this timeline and... Let me take a station identification break. I'm getting ready to lay go this drink. That's right, the nectar by KD.
come on, yeah. Mississippi. Listen once again, oh my goodness. I want to take this time and say once again, listen, we love you. Yes, yeah, we love you here at the Truth Session. Thank you so much for your time, your effort, your energy. That's right, I feel it, man. It's, it's up in here. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for your donations. Listen, if, not, if you have not had an opportunity to donate, go ahead, please do so at this moment. Keep that current going. That's right. Keep that flow going. Listen, that's how we move about. That's how we do things here at the Truth Session. Your support. Never take your support for granted nor lightly. It's a big thing to me. That's right. When you can give up your substance, as we give up our substance, 
That is a mutual exchange. It's a nice flow. And the last time I checked when the one said, fair exchange had never been a robbery. Thank you for the fair exchange. As we can be, we continue to build. Because where your treasure is, that's where your heart will be. Your heart will be in a place where, listen, you, you want to gather any information. You want to be a part of the truth session. You want to hit that share button. In fact, hit that share button. Send it out to somebody. Somebody need this. Somebody's bound to have been tampering with and don't have the ability to build. But I'm telling you, things are being rearranged. Things are being codified. That's right. Things are being canonized right in the midst of their hearing. So we want you to send it out to them. Come on. Right now, I want you to flood the timeline. Before I go back to this last part of this information, flood the timeline with those emojis. I want them to, I want this timeline to just bleed. Come on. To meet your need. Let there be some speed as the one. And I'm paraphrasing it. Come on. Hit that timeline. Oh, let me get mine in. I see you out there. I see you. Come on. My goodness, it's such a flow. Yes. Come on. As they continue to serenade you, I'm going to drop a little of this information on the timeline so that you will have it. When you go back, you'll be able to see these, these things. So it'll take a few seconds here just to drop this info. Oh, it's going down up in here. Come on, come on, let them make it smooth for you. Yes. Yes. Sergeant on Kiana up in here. It's good to see you, my sister. Woo! Lego therapy. They're hitting you with some therapeutic music, I'm telling you. It's all fitting, fitly joined together with the information. I mean, it, it's right there. Come on. Yes. Lego therapy, you hear that? That's Lego therapy. You can see that from the beginning, from the start of the truth session. The greetings, the acknowledgement, the singing, the instruments, all of it is Lego therapy. You don't even realize it. It's Lego therapy because it's building you. It's causing you to systematically see how things are done, how they're orderly arranged, arranged like the cosmos, arranged like those planets and stars out there. It is fitly joined and framed together. Why? Because the one Lego that so long ago, he built the foundation. That's right, he labored over it, fasted, prayed, set out, denied himself. That's why it's such a strong foundation. Not only that, what we do is colorful. That's right. Listen, Lego blocks are colorful. So there is, in other words, there's flavor to it. There's creativity attached with it. And you know, we did a series on, on those different colors, the chakras. That's right. So because of the, the, the colors, 
There's meaning to them. There's an effect. So that's right, the truth session is very colorful. Complex. Advanced, but yet simple. Everything works together because that's how it's been framed. That's right. So with this Lego therapy, it takes you through a process of healing. And one of the healing you deal with is teamwork. Oh my goodness. Teamwork and skill building. Listen, if you listen to the one long enough, I guarantee you're going to build some skills. You're going to build them even if you don't want to build them. <laughs> That's right. Listen, I say it all the time. When children enter into my presence, and if they entertain me just a little bit, I got them. They're going to learn whether they want to learn or not. I've had many of them kicking and scratching, coming the door tough as nails, but soft as cotton nail tissue when I get done with them. Why? Because I know how to get to them. I know how to build them, build a foundation. I, I, I know what it takes. I don't worry about their deficiencies, their insecurities. I know how to use the Lego block, the Lego therapy, to help them to develop their skills to be successful. The second one is communications and language skills. Now, when you have the ability to gather in information, communicate it to someone else, and understand the language, listen, it makes you dangerous. It says to communicate with one another as children, as they go through this Lego therapy, teach them how to express their thoughts wants and needs and listen to others from their perspective that's what Lego allows you to do hear it and see it from a different perspective that's called building that's called working together understanding your ABC's oh my goodness watch this I mentioned problem solving. I jumped to that first, didn't I? Mathematical and spatial awareness. Watch what it says here. According to Zivlak, Safrange, and research and pedagogy. Say that one more time, the one. Tammy Green, donation. Tammy Green, Tammy Green, listen, thank you, my sister, for your donation. That's right. From Mississippi, all the way from Mississippi in the house. And listen, don't forget to put where you're healing from on the timeline. Please do that. Thank you for the anonymous donors as well. We appreciate you as well. Some people don't even want to be recognized at all. But listen, we do it anyway. We find out who you are, we're going to shout you out. Because we appreciate you. Uh oh. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. You feel the atmospheric change? <laughs> oh. Uh, I think we got the one started. It's on them now. We done got the one started. I know you hear another voice in the background. That's right. That's Baby Bird over there. That's right. That's Kefira. Uh huh. I know y'all thought that was Songbird KD. I told you those, that that's that Lego. That's that musical intelligence up in here. And that mathematical intelligence because they know exactly where to put the pieces. That's mathematics. <laughs> That's communication. Don't have to say anything to them. They know exactly when to jump in there. They know when to back out. They know when to play the instruments. They know when to pause. Oh my goodness. Listen, that's a level of multiple intelligence that you can't even pay for. You, you can't pay for that. Listen, some presenters, some musicians wish they had people that can flow just like that without 
giving them instructions that's called becoming one becoming one becoming the one yeah multiple intelligence causing you to visually understand the concepts I gotta go back to that again having interpersonal skills like having the ability to go out because the highway is an interstate right having the ability to go out gathering information develop those relationship skills then bring the information back and then develop yourself in trust personal relationship that's right I'm staying within my region in my area but I know how to navigate through the right terrain movement is all kinesthetics logical mathematical intelligence naturalists having the ability to understand nature to see that when things are happening in nature listen you know what's going on around you listen every time something happened naturally the one used to describe it to the team listen people used to call up the one and still do call up the one and say hey this is happening over here here's a storm a tree down over here a hurricane over here we got hell over here in spaces that never held before as a song say Tony 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 it never rains in Southern California stuff start happening in diverse places they call the one and say man what's going on naturalist intelligence hello somebody and then understanding mankind or the human existentialist that's right want to understand the development of human nature in other, in other words up in here man we operate in all of the gifts all nine multiple intelligence Lego in them together that's right Lego huh the developmental stages of life number four creativity and experimentation oh my goodness having the ability to be creative wait a minute the creative realm didn't the one talk about that that's right <laughs> come on that's the theta realm creativity but having the ability to experiment to come up with new ideas new thoughts creativity and experimentation together that's mathematics as well because at the top of the food chain is creativity that's right talking about blues taxonomy they've incorporated not just the lower levels but creativity at the top of the food chain and then to experiment is dealing with probability experimental probability it's all lego letting their creativity imagination and self-expression flow number five number five physical development they use lego therapy because it allows children to touch to feel to understand what things fitly frame together it's actually building something in their minds so now what are we doing adjusting taking it from just a descriptive or a potential to a verb test we're legoing something lego stages of development watch this number six perseverance and management of frustration listen how many of you have the ability or have the ability to use your hand and start building stuff start crafting things that's right use your creativity and all the frustration leaves put your hands to work it's called lego overcoming frustration knowing that their masterpieces can be rebuilt and what's so powerful about children when they understand that i might be building something with my building blocks sometimes they may fall down but guess what my masterpiece have the ability to be rebuilt because i can take those same pieces and start rebuilding so it's not lost i'm telling you just because they said to you years ago that you can't do it doesn't mean it's all lost they might have affected you a little bit but yeah listen i did a dissertation once huh that dealt with air and wind my wind might have been affected but my air is still intact that's right 
You might have knocked the wind out of me, but my air is still intact. Two different things. So you didn't, you didn't affect my air. You only affected me to have the ability at a certain time to release a breath or a wind or to release a measure of frustration. But you didn't touch my air. Why? Because my air is my life. You didn't affect my life. You might have put a little fly in the pot, but you didn't touch my life. My wind might have been affected, but my air is still intact. Number seven, self-confidence. What do we do? What are we doing? We're building self-confidence. Saying, listen, I don't care what they said about your mind, that you're underdeveloped. You'll never have the ability to develop your mind. You'll never be able to harness concepts. Listen, that's a lie, the truth ain't in it. I deal with people who say the same thing they might have said, listen, I've never been a good math student. Oh, I, I, guess what I tell them? You were just waiting on me. Well, see, third, fourth, and fifth grade, I wasn't a good math student. I said, you were just waiting on me. I said, I understand. It wasn't for you to meet them and to learn from them. It was for you to meet me and learn from me. So I understand. Watch what this says here. People with visual spatial intelligence learn best when taught visual patterns using written, modeled, or diagrammed instructions and visual media. Visually and spatially talented children have a good visual memory for details. Sound like truth session people. They do well with auditory sequencing such as lectures, recitations, drill, and repetition. Sounds like all the things that one have been talking about. Always being repetitive. I didn't say rote, but being repetitive so that you can build a foundation. Having the ability to recite. Having the ability to conduct lectures. Oh, that's what we do around here. We conduct lectures on every level. Elementary school level, middle school level, high school level, collegiate level, graduate school level. That's right. Even with those who have gone on to receive PhDs. That's what we do. Have the ability to lecture and to recite. Using manipulatives. It also says they're good at geometry. In other words, having the ability to understand concepts. There it is again. There it is again. And what we're talking about concepts, conceptualizing something, having the ability to give birth to it. That's mathematics. That's Lego. Having the ability to understand puzzles and to do puzzles and understand mazes. That's what Lego and things do for you. It also lowers anxiety, lowers stress, cause you to be patient, cause you to have focus and concentration. Listen, the one told you, listen, when you can sit for a whole hour and listen to lectures and listen to dissertations, it activates another brain. So that's called focus and concentration. Man, all of this is fitly framing and joining itself together. I'm telling you, powerful, powerful, powerful stuff. Visual and spatial people go on to be engineers, architects, oh my goodness, planners. Why? Because they learned to Lego, to put things together, to work well together, to plan, to come together, to fitly join, to connect, having the ability to have connectivity. Listen, I'm telling you, when you understand that, you will understand that it all plays a part in mental development. Jean Piaget, stages of development as you go through one stage to the next stage. From this time frame to the next time frame, guess what you're doing? You're building a Lego block. Let me show you that. And we're going to get out of here. Oh, my goodness. Your sensory motor stage from zero to two years old. The coordination of senses with motor responses. Isn't that what the one was doing? Isn't that what he was doing? Taking you back 
to that place where you were fed in, incorrect and wrong information. Falsehood. So now I gotta take you back to your sensory motor stage as a baby to eradicate it and reprogram you. It says sensory motor, right? Mm -hmm. Sensory curiosity. Your language begin to develop. Watch the pre-operational stage from two to seven years old. That's that symbiotic or symbolic thinking using proper syntax and grammar. There it is again. Letters, words, sentences, paragraphs, bodies, expressing concepts. Imagination and intuition are strong. There it is again. Creativity, theta realm. The concrete operational stage, seven to 11 years old. Concrete attached to concrete or concepts attached to concrete situations. Now things are becoming more concrete. I've developed such a foundation. Now I can concretely grasp this information. Time, space, and quantity are understood and can be applied. And last but not least, the formal operational stages, 11 years old and beyond. Theoretical, hypothetical, counterfactual thinking, abstract and logical reasoning. Strategy and planning become possible. Concepts learned in one context can be applied to another concept. Multiple intelligence. Multiple intelligence. Things that are theoretical and, hypo and, and hypothetical can become concrete because you've operated in a concrete operational realm. The formal operational realm. The pre-operational realm. Those are Lego stages of development. The cognitive development. What are we doing? Building your cognitive thinking and abilities. Listen. I'm telling you. This information just gets better and better. Keeps you in a place of development. You as an adult can go through those stages as well. The question was asked during this experimental time was, can adults go through Lego therapy? You went through Lego therapy today. That's what you're doing, going through Lego therapy because the concepts are building. They're foundationalizing themselves. The concepts are building and scaffolding. It's getting higher and higher. You got to have such a foundation, a substructure to build and to go deep and to delve into the data and the lacks and the likes. What are we doing? Developing your Lego stages of development so that you can continue to be strong continue to be effective and that you can have color yourself and meaning and that you can prosper beyond your wildest dream not just financially but intellectual capital that's what it's all about listen i am going to check this timeline we've had such a time as they continue to hit you with this powerful powerful sound that's right Oh my goodness, that's right. Oh, they're doing it up in here. Listen, listen, listen. Listen. As I take another station identification break, acknowledging the songbird KD, the KD Nectar. You better ask somebody. Thank you. 
That's right. From the songbird KD. The Prince of Peace. And the one, the apostle, the prophet, the God, the commander. Oh, that's right, that's right. On the percussion, listen, doing it. That's right, doing it. Yes, come on. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, we come to that space and place. We have to wait and see you next week. Oh, my goodness. It's a long await. Because we love to see your face in the place. We love to hear the sound of your spirit. Yeah, I said the sound of your spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What y'all don't understand is they getting ready to get started up in here. I'm going to step back for a minute. We're going to send you off with something right here. Y'all better talk about it up in here. Come on. Stand strong and build, build, build your house. Listen. I try to get us out of here. But you know, they plugged us right into it. Sometimes it's hard to let this thing go. Oh, some of you know what I'm talking about. 
Come on, Prince of Peace. I see you building. I see you building. Listen, listen. Oh, yeah, that's right. You've been hit by, you've been struck by the troop session family. That's right. I am your very own, the master teacher, the quantum shifter, the shape shifter, the code breaker. Sitting in the captain's seat today for the one, the apostle, the prophet, the cosmic commander. Listen, we've enjoyed you. We've had an awesome time. We're here at that space and place and time. We've got to tell you, hold what you got. Muse over it. Cogitate upon it. Ponder over it. But by all means, govern yourselves accordingly. And until next truth session. Oh. Shalom Aleikum, Mishpekah. Build your house. That's right, brick by brick. Be strong and legal. Thank you.